In this video, we are going to see module 7, Manage Azure Storage. So there are six tasks in this module. And first we'll see to provision the lab environment. So we will be deploying Azure Virtual Machine that we need later in this lab. And we will be using some JSON file to deploy the virtual machine. Let's log into the Azure portal and open the Azure Cloud Shell. So if this is the first time you are starting Cloud Shell, then you will be presented with you have no storage mounted. And then you have to create a new storage. Since I have already created the storage account, I have not getting that message. And next I'm going to upload the JSON file. So click on upload download file and click upload. So this will be module seven VM template, click open complete next upload the parameters.json this is completed next I'm going to create the resource group and uh, will be hosting the virtual machine into that resource group so first let me um, get the region location so i'm going to use east us and RG name is 104-07-RG0 and let's create the resource group Okay, so we have created the resource group in East US location. Next, we'll go ahead and deploy the virtual machine. Resource group deployment. Resource group name. template file so I have already uploaded the JSON file template parameter file Okay, so next we'll see task two, create and configure Azure storage account. In task two, we are going to create and configure an Azure storage account. Search storage account. Click create. going to create the new resource group 
G1. Okay. And give unique storage account name. And select the region. Leave the performance as standard. Redundancy GRS, geo redundant storage. Next, advanced. Leave the default version. Click next networking, review the option and accept the default option. Click next data protection and just review the option and leave the default value. Next click re review and create. Validation passed, create the storage account. Okay, let's wait for the resource to be created. This should take about two minutes. Okay, so the deployment is complete. Click go to resource. Under data management, click geo replication. Now we see there are two location primary which is east us and secondary which is west us now let's go to configuration under setting section and change the replication to lrs locally redundant storage and click save Okay, now again go back to geo replication. See, now there is only one location since we have changed from GRS to LRS. And go back to the configuration and change the blob access tier to cool and save the changes. Next in task 3 we will see manage blob storage.